So today we're gonna take a look at probably one of the worst cloud chasers I have ever seen on the internet. Now, I don't know if you guys remember, but last year there was this trend where people would go around and lick ice cream in grocery stores. And one of the main culprits from this ice cream licking trend was this guy known as Lars. Now, if you don't know who Lars is, he will basically do anything on the internet to get attention. I mean, the guy has literally been on Dr. Phil for some of the stuff that he's done. Because like I said, this guy is known as one of the worst clout chasers on the internet. He will go to any length to get some clout. I mean, this guy has risked getting diseases. He's risked getting sick. He's even been arrested for doing this kind of stuff. And he just keeps doing it, man. He's, he's just addicted to the attention. He is addicted to the clout. Now, recently, there's been this trend going around known as the coronavirus challenge now the coronavirus challenge is where people are believe it or not people are going out to public restrooms and licking the toilet seat i i wish i was making this up now first off here's the clip that pretty much started this coronavirus challenge this clip went pretty much viral on every social media and it's this random tiktok girl pretty much starting this challenge And now here is the clip of the biggest clout chaser on the internet, Lars, taking part in this coronavirus challenge. Now, just like pretty much all of Lars' stunts here, this went completely viral on the internet because obviously people were clowning this guy. So, I mean, after this clip went viral, he decided to make a follow-up, obviously, because, you know, why not get some more clout out of the situation? You licked a toilet seat, why not try and take it as far as you can? So, Lars decided to make a follow-up video here saying that he had the coronavirus. And, I mean, this clip is completely absurd. You have to be, I mean, you gotta be pretty stupid to believe this is real in any way, shape, or form because the dude is literally just laying here in a hospital bed saying he has the virus because the tweet here from Lars's Twitter account his most recent tweet says I tested positive for the coronavirus and this is the video attached hey guys I'm really choked up on my mess right now I mean, I'm not sure what he's been hospitalized for, but you, I mean, you gotta be an idiot to think this coronavirus challenge actually gave him the virus. He's just trying to ride the wave and get more clout. And I mean, I feel like I should have seen this coming with how ridiculous these clout chasers really are, but I mean, I really didn't expect to see people using coronavirus for clout on the internet. I guess people really will go to any length for some clout. So I mean, I guess this just shows that clout chasers really have no limits. They'll use a viral deadly disease just to get some clout on the internet, just to get 2,000 likes and 198,000 comments calling you a clown. And actually, I just went to download the clips for this video from Lars' Twitter account, and he's now been suspended on Twitter. Either he deactivated his Twitter account because of all the hate, or he's been suspended by Twitter. I guess Twitter is not a fan of people licking toilet seats. Anyway, that's where I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video, and if you're early on this video, I'm gonna be streaming for an hour or two on my YouTube channel, so make sure to click on the channel or just go down to the comments and there's gonna be a pinned comment with the link to the stream if you want to see me playing some black ops 3 or gta live who i don't know what i'm gonna be playing but it's gonna be fun anyway that's where i'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you're brand new to the channel as always you can follow me on twitter at relax on yt and other than that i'll catch you guys in the next video i'm out